Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Fenton Forest with Seasons and today we're looking at animals and seasons and uh, the new changes with animals and I'm sure we're gonna learn all together because I don't know that much about what's going on I know some but not a whole lot so we'll see how this all goes um, it's late evening so I'm hopefully to at least get some the sheep done and maybe the chickens and I'll fast forward to morning and we'll do the others uh, in the next in-game day but uh, let's start with the sheep so there's four different kinds of sheep, all females. Uh, we got the Dorsets here, a large breed of sheep that grows moderately fast, has modest wool production, and requires a medium amount of feed as an adult. Is relatively pro uh, prolific and good for uh, lambs, somewhere between 25 to 40 kilograms, 50 to 85 pounds. You do not need males for reproduction here. Is this, uh, that's the way it is. Um, uh, the Merino sheep, I guess I'll, is the way I pronounce it, is a medium breed that is used for wool production. It grows slowly, is not very prolific, but doesn't require a lot of feed as an adult. So this looks like the kind of sheep you want to go for if you just want to produce wool and occasionally get a few lambs to uh, sprout out, if you will. Um, this one here is a large breed of sheep that grows extremely fast. It produces a modest amount of wool. Requires a lot of feed as an adult. Is prolific and slow maturing. Mm, okay. And you can see the price differences here as well. Uh, the Dorper. A medium sized breed that grows fast but produces no wool. Very prolific and fast maturing. Requires little feed as an adult. So I guess if you want to treat this kind of a sheep like you would a pig I guess. Um, probably the way it is. Oh, wait, we're in here. I was in there in the menu. So we're going to buy two of each because we can. Uh, that's what we're here for, to learn. And as you can see, we get transportation fees and all that because you can transport them, obviously, in a trailer. So the first thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to feed the sheep. And you're like, uh, they're going to die. No, they won't. Uh, the animals will take, uh, like cows and sheep, will take the grass in their pasture, uh, seasons every 15 minutes, and I mean uh, in-game minutes, every 15 minutes, which means on the hour, 15 minutes past the hour, on the half hour, and 15 minutes before every hour, it will check for grass in the pasture. And if there's feed in the pasture, it will plop it right down here in the feed trough. So I'm not going to bother feeding the sheep right off. Um, we'll find out here in about another uh, 12 minutes or so. Or I could speed up time as well. But uh, we'll leave it running at this speed for now. Uh, so yeah, we should get some feed in a while. So now, if we go to our animal page, and this is the other thing with Seasons. Even though I bought two of each, they're going to show each sheep individually as so. Uh, so you can see here, we bought eight sheep. We got eight sheep. It's not going to put the two Dorset sheep into one, say I got two of those. It's going to show each sheep individually um, because it, their stats may be different as they grow older. So as you can see, they're 139 pounds. This will change uh, every day as they get older. We'll look at that in just a little bit more detail in a second here. Uh, wait, I wanted to see, do they have water? No, they have no water. No problem. It looks like they have water here. So Seasons also gave us what they call a water pump. So if you go, um, where is that going to be located? Uh, in Miscellaneous, I think, I think. Is that near, see if I can find it here. Uh, it's somewhere, or is that under animals? It might be under animals. Hang on a second, animal pens? Is on animal pens? I saw it somewhere already. Uh, water pump, here it is. Uh, $5 a day, $5,000 for initial purchase obviously uh where are we here so obviously you want to place it somewhere near your water trough i'm gonna put it right there so what this will do is 
they can kind of hear it running. Every 15 minutes, this will help uh, fill up. Oh, I shouldn't say fill up. I think it keeps it at 15% water at all times. So if you don't want to give your animals water, the water pump will keep it around 15% at all times. So we'll have to wait and see just in a little bit what's going on there. Uh, I don't have nothing in where the wool grows, do I? I'll tell you what, we'll speed up time here. Uh, we'll just do the sheep tonight and I'll fast forward to morning and do the other animals. Uh, the reason why I was trying to get mostly done tonight is because I do believe there's rain in the forecast for like the next 20 gazillion days here. So it may be raining in the rest of the episode. Uh, so what you're going to see here when we get 15 minutes past the hour, we're probably going to see that grass inside that pasture disappear. And it should pop right into the food trough. And then we'll check the water uh, trough as well. So there's 14. Okay, so a little bit of the grass did disappear out of the pasture. And you can see they got grass here in the food trough. And it should be uh, not quite 100% because they're eating some. And you can also see water. We're at 25 liters. So the water pump put some water into the trough. Yep, we can see it now. And that water pump will always keep, it's not going to fill it up, but it will keep uh, the animals from running out of water. Um, stuck on a post. Uh, so, so yeah, the other thing I noticed is you can't come into, you can't come into the pasture. I think in FS17, you can go into the pasture and you can see, you used to be able to see how much grass was left out of the maximum that was available to him. Uh, in seasons, I don't quite see that. Um, I, I did try it before just to see, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen where it said you can come into the pasture and see. Uh, so this is why so, uh, some maps are putting out multiple pastures, grass pastures for sheep and cows. So, I mean, if you run out of grass for your sheep, you can move to a different pasture where there's grass in it. And then while they're out of like this pasture, the grass will grow back eventually and you have feed form. Um, yeah, so there is that showing you how they work there. So uh, next animal, zero, zero, don't have enough information on them at all. Uh, not yet. So I think uh, probably when we sleep through the night, we'll get some information on them. Um, I probably should write down these weights so we can kind of get a rough idea uh, of how much weight they're going to gain. But... It, it, that's the other thing we need to get to. It's going to be all different depending on how many days in a season you're playing. Um, so 154 pounds, 129. All right, so we'll come back to the sheep in just a little bit. Uh, now I got to go over. Interesting, we got a pallet already showing here, but there's no wool in there. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, on over to the chickens. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong box there, peanut. There you go. All right, so here we go. We got four different kind of chickens, uh, two females and two males. So the white leghorn is a really good uh, breed to make eggs. This breed requires less feed than any other breed. Uh, this is the bird of choice if eggs are the top of your priorities. Um, we'll just buy two of those for now. Uh, the Cornish cross, not Cornish. Ross, this is a male. Uh, this one, I, I believe, does not lay any eggs. And this is just basically for your chicken wings and your chicken drums and uh, buffalo wings. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, basically for sale for, for, uh, for the meat. Uh, this meat. This meat breed says right there, extremely fast growing and has a fast turnaround in profit. It requires a lot of feed. Uh, so we'll get two of those. And the Rhode Island chicken is like a half breed in between these two. Uh, so yeah, both eggs and meat and requires an amount of feed in between that of these two counterparts here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop those two in there. I am not going to get a rooster just yet uh, because that will affect on how the lake horns kind of work. Now, the one thing you can see is I'm buying chickens. There is no transportation fee. Because Seasons realize we have no way to transport chickens, so why are we getting charged a fee for that? Um, okay, so we got some chickens. Uh, they do not have a water trough. 
at all, uh, like the base game. But the one thing they don't have right now is feed. And so let's go get some wheat. And I want to pop some wheat in there. Turn my trailer. I have a buy all silos on. Just for this purpose, because I actually I don't have any crop whatsoever. Now, also with animals and seasons, I want to say the base game when you feed the animals, that feed should last for ten days. Um, basically, with seasons, you're gonna pretty much have to feed them almost every day. You might be able to get by with every day and a half to two days. Uh, what side am I? Tip side back? No. Uh, there we go. They may not even take half of this food. Nope. Alright, so there we go with the chickens. Yeah, see, they only took 1,000 liters. Um, it also will tell you, this pen requires 975 liters of food to feed its animals for the next year. Well, if that's the case, then uh, I got enough food to last them more than two days. The pen requires nine. This pen requires nine hundred seventy-five liters of food to feed its animals for the next year. Interesting. Very interesting. So you can see, like the Rhode Island, uh, the Rhode Island red female, she's not fertile because we don't have a rooster. So any eggs that come out are going to be eggs that we can keep. Not fertile, not fertile, and the corn is cross. Obviously. They don't weigh nothing right now because they're just like little, you're basically you're buying little chicks. And so they'll grow up and be uh, nice and beefy and uh, we'll go ahead and sell them later on. Not fertile, not fertile. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to head to the house or get stuck on the fence one or the other. Uh, I think we'll get stuck on the fence. Yeah, I'm interested to see about the feed trough because I thought it said every other day you have to feed the your animals but since I put a thousand liters in it says the pen only requires less than a thousand for a season I don't know uh, we'll find out shortly here so I'm gonna go and we're gonna head sleep until morning it's probably gonna be raining um, because why wouldn't it be uh, we'll sleep until seven o'clock in the morning yep, here comes the rain And not much food to clean up either. Okay, does it automatically clean? Oh, I wonder because if there's grass on the ground out here, it's it's sensing grass in the fields in the field in the pen, so it's picking up putting it back in the food trough. Alright, so as for our sheep, our dorset in one day gained a pound. Uh the merino gained uh, a pound. And they gained two pounds. I think that's two pounds. And also the torpor gained two pounds. Um, if you remember our chickens, the little chicks we had are now up to two pounds. And it doesn't say they're not fertile. Next animal in point one years. Um, okay, I don't have a rooster, so wait a minute. I'm a little confused on that. I'm a little confused. I don't have a rooster, so why, why, why? Is because I got the Cornish cross males? Interesting. Uh, we'll let them be. <laughs> Just for a little bit. Oh, wait, am I going, I'm going the wrong direction on the map here. Alright, so let's head on over to the pigs. Um... right here so four different kind of pigs uh, we got the Yorkshire uh, mother breed this breed of pig is very fast growing animal but requires a high amount of, of capital for the initial purchase that's interesting it looks 
I think someone said there is a problem with the pigs because as you look, this one is one year old, weighs 20 pounds. This one's 0.2 years old and weighs 347 pounds. So I think some of these numbers might be mixed up. But we're going to go ahead and buy two of each pig. Spotted and Berkshire. Uh, so this male pig here is a slow growing animal, but it's much cheaper to purchase initially. But you can see it's actually 500. Uh, yeah, I think some of the pig, uh, pig stats are kind of mixed up. Very hardy and great for the starting farmer. So I don't know if I should be reading these or not. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and buy them. Confirm. We'll put them in the pen. Um, actually, they can have some of this wheat. And what we'll do is I'll give them some pig food. And we'll check their stats out to see exactly what they're doing here. I'll give them some wheat. Also, I probably should have to give them a water. They need some water. So let's go ahead and grab a water pump. Uh, no, those are the sheep. Um, I think this is your water trough right here. There, they'll, they'll have... So the same thing with the pigs, as you can see, you're going to see each individual one. So, I mean, if you're going to do a lot of animals and you're going to have like maybe to say like a hundred pigs or whatever, and you're just, even though if you buy all one kind of pig, you're going to have a hundred pigs. You're going to be scrolling down for a while, keeping track of your animals. So that could be kind of tasking right there. Um, they'll get some water here in a while. This pen requires 3,362 liters of food to feed its animals for the year. How did, oh yeah, the chickens. Uh, if we go back to the chickens, how much food did they eat last night? Not much. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. All right, so now we got our pigs in there. We'll have to give them a little bit of while for those stats to show up. Um, the cow barn. Uh, where's the cow barn? No, that's just a place to do flurry and stuff. Alright, so here we are at the cow barn. Oh, no, this is where milk, that's where milk is. Uh, the other side is where I gotta buy them, I believe. Right here. So yes, we got a whole bunch of different kind of cows. Let's buy two of each here. The Brahmins. Did I buy two of those, uh, two Browns and I buy, nope, just so I want to make sure I buy two of each just so I can get steady numbers here. Light brown, light brown. And confirm. Uh, so we'll do the same thing for the cows. Which one is your water trough though? That's all, is that all, this all feed here? Um, yeah, this should be your water trough right here. Make sure I place down a water pump. I mean, I could be just going and uh, filling up their, their, uh, troughs by a tank or whatnot, but, um, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just pop that down right there. And while we let some of their stats roll over. Um, let's head on over to the horse pen here. Now the horses are free, uh, pretty much. They're not showing me going into the farm. How interesting. Oh, there they go. Okay. That was a little, little low here. Um, I don't know if I can, I don't know how many this pen holds. So one of each, I guess. Painted. Quarter horse, thoroughbred. 
So you get the transportation fee. Obviously, like it says, um, some are going to require more food than others. And basically what's happening with horses, since you're not buying them, you're going to get paid stable fees from the owners of the horses. Uh, you guys are going to need a water pump as well because I'm not going to feed you the water. Uh, that's food. Water is right here. All right, so they got some water. Uh, I'm going to go around and top off uh, the animals with some food. And then we can really dig into them. No sense of you watch me drive around uh, feeding them food. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that by now. Well, with all of our animals fed and they all have water pumps and they're pretty much all set to go. Um, we'll start off with the horses. And like I said, you don't have to pay nothing for the horses. But if you go into the animal section, it pretty much tells you when you get scroll on down. The daily income for the care of a horse is determined by its fitness, which is, uh, I believe, this bar right here. The horse with the the mane behind it, like breezing in the wind. Uh, its health, which is right now 100%. And cleanliness, which is at 100%. They should be ridden every day to increase their fitness. So it's just like before. But my guess is their fitness is not going to go up like it did um, in the base game. Uh, horses require straw for clean bedding and water, food, uh, the same old stuff. So what we'll do is, uh, I know I fed them here. It's early in the morning. We'll get paid at midnight. We'll see what we get paid for. Let's see. We got one each horse. So was there eight horses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so eight horses that were taken care of. Um... I think I got the horse helper mod installed, but I don't know if that's going to work on seasons or not. I don't know. Uh, but we'll find out here when we hit midnight. As for our cows, uh, yeah, we got two of each cow. So now let's come on, on down to the cows here. So the one thing about the cows is, and we'll see, is none of them are going to produce milk. Uh, animals always need water. They require a clean feeding area and some require straw. Feed them any of the following food types. Of course, I put in Tolmix rations. Um, it has grass in the feed trough. Now, if uh, if I put the Tolmix rations in before seasons look for grass, it wouldn't have not actually put any grass in there. It's going to be just like the base game to where... The cow's going to eat either Tomex rations first, and if Tomex rations not there, then it'll look for hay slash silage, and if that's not there, then the cows will eat grass. So more than likely, I'm not going to see this go down for quite a while. The grass should regrow in here and be full and healthy. If I run a Tomex rations, then they'll eat the grass. I did not give them straw because they're going to produce just oh, that's pigs. Sorry, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't give the cow straw either. So they're going to produce a dust slurry, no manure. And you can see it says not fertile. Now, the Holstein cow is a good milk producer, but they're not going to produce milk until they have a calf, which I heard is three seasons, not three years, but three seeding seasons, meaning uh, spring, summer, and fall. She'll have the calf, and then she'll start producing milk. So if you buy the cows to make milk, they're not going to make any until they have a calf. Pretty basic right there. Um, and that's true. So maybe when you first start your farm, you may want to go for beef cattle instead. And of course, the cattle will get heavier as each day passes. Uh, there are some people asking, well, when do you sell to your animals to make a better profit? I think you'll have to... If we go in here, so you can see the, let's see, the, the Ashire, we paid fourteen sixty two, And of course, the value went down like they always do, because uh, <laughs> you're not going to make a profit in day one. So I think you have to keep an eye on your prices. See, uh, roughly see a hold your animals are getting and try to figure out when the peak value is for it. And maybe keep like a, I would say right now, a uh, patent pen next to, <laughs> next to your game because... Yeah, you're going to want to know this kind of information. And I'm probably each cow is going to be a little bit different. 
when the peak value is. So I would say keep an eye on the prices of animals. And uh, when you see the price start to maybe start dropping a little bit, it might be time to sell them because as cows get older, uh, yeah, they're going to be less and less value. So don't expect your cows, uh, the ones that make milk, to make milk until they have a calf. So as for our chicken uh, or our sheep, how are our sheep doing here? Let's come over to the sheep because I'm, I'm walking past them. Um, where's the sheepy sheepy? Okay, so here are the sheep. Next standable in, uh, nothing there yet. Nothing there yet, but you can see they're all producing wool. Uh, one of them doesn't produce wool. 54. This might be given the total for the entire the entire pen, not just each individual sheep. That's what I think it's doing. Now, as for our chickens, I'm a little curious though because, oops, wrong one. Uh, over here, no, I'm in the wrong menu. Wrong menu. Couldn't do that quite a bit. Yeah, it says next animal in, no animal there. This one apparently has a fertile egg, but I don't have a rooster. As far as I I can tell. This male bird is probably used for the reproduction and will work to fertilize eggs. This Rhode Island, oh, no, wrong one. Meat breeders seem to go fast and churn profit. It requires a lot of feed. So it doesn't say this male fertilizes eggs. It's just a rooster. I don't have a rooster, but yet I have a chicken. Wrong menu again. I have a chicken that has a fertile egg, apparently. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how that's working out. Uh, obviously, the males are not going to lay any eggs. And, of course, Rhode Island chicken, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing there. Yeah, so I'm not quite understanding that. If I don't have a rooster, um, why why is one of my chickens uh, have a fertilized egg already? Uh, over here for the pigs. So the pigs are kind of like the same way as the cows uh, for beef. You got some they are going to keep reproducing. And you're also going to get some, I don't I'm in the wrong menu again. I'm going to keep doing that, man. That sucks. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so Yorkshire, no animal ready, no animal ready. Of course, males are not going to get pregnant. You would hope not. Uh, nothing there either. I mean, we've only had them just, you know, <laughs> just this morning. So uh, I did top them off with some pig food. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to advance like a couple days. And I'm going to see if these food troughs go down because I could have swore that they said we had to feed the animals every two days. And I don't see these food troughs going down that far. Uh, seasons, animal, um, it requires more shot. The maximum feeding capacity is reduced to two days. This means you need to feed the animals every day. All right, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Uh, yes, but, uh, so here we go about uh, animals production. Cows need to have calves before producing milk. Uh, female chickens produce eggs. When a rooster is near and interested, the hen might might uh, broad on her eggs instead, creating offspring. Um, yeah, I don't have a rooster, but apparently I already have a hen that's interested in doing so. Uh, actually, I also bring it back just at midnight to see how much money we make off of our horses. So I'll see you just before midnight. All right, so I'm ready to head on to bed. We're going to sleep just 12 hours just because uh, it'll bring us to morning. Let's see how much money we make from the horses at midnight for stable fees, as I like to call it. Um, so 2400 2450 for the horses. Now that income is going to change depending on how many days per season you're playing. <laughs> At least that's what I've been told. Um, so what seasons did is, you know, because since you have a wide range of how many days you have in the seasons, you can have as little as three or as many as 24. If you're playing three day seasons, 
you're probably going to get more per night than you are if you're playing 24 day seasons. You're going to get paid the same amount in a season. Doesn't matter how many days you're playing. So like say it's in a three day seasons, you're getting paid you, at the end of three days, you got paid a total of $10,000 over those three days. If you played a 24 day season, you're still only going to get paid $10,000. The animals require the same amount of food in a season. It doesn't matter how many days your season are, but the total is always going to be the same. So if you're playing a three day season, your animals are going to require more food per day than if you played a 24 day season. I hope that was pretty clear enough. <laughs> uh, but as I, I, as I keep coming in here, I'm looking at the, the food level. And I know they said you got to feed them every two days. So we slept, you know, we've had the pigs a day. And that food didn't go down that, hardly that much. So, yeah, I'm not sure. So now we're starting to see, uh, not on our horses. Uh, our cows are not going to be showing anything yet. But you can see our sheep now are showing next animal in. So, yeah, our sheep are starting to slowly reproduce um these sheep here are made to be sold for food and the dorset also has uh has a little has a little thing growing inside of it how sweet uh yeah so they're getting they're getting pregnant somehow i don't have any male sheep but uh go figure as for the cows i don't think we're gonna see any cows then again i could be wrong um, it's the Holsteins I'm really curious about. So not fertile, not fertile. So if you just want to have Holsteins in your barn, that is fine. They do not need a male to get fertile, uh, apparently. So it's not like, uh, the chickens where you got to buy a rooster to have fertile eggs. Which I'm still kind of curious how I have a chicken that has a fertile egg. But I didn't buy it rooster. I was trying to prove a point. Yeah, so over here in the chickens. Next animal in. Yeah, so I'm going to get a chick uh, popping out at some point. Uh, let's see here. Did it? Was it born yet? No, probably not. And I can't even see if there's a chick around anywhere. So I'm going to pass another day and uh, we'll see what we have for more stats. So a day has passed and here we are over at the chickens. And if I go over and look at our chickens here, we have a white leghorn, zero pounds. So we have our new chick in here somewhere, one of them. Uh, I still don't know how they got fertile. All right. So the Rhode Island chicken is now has a fertile egg. So do I not need a rooster or, or how's that working? Because I don't have a rooster in here and yet we're getting fertile eggs. Um, I mean, unless they're, unless they're getting, you know, fertilized by the males of the Cornish cross. But I mean, it, it doesn't say the Cornish cross doesn't say that they fertilize eggs. This meat breed is extremely fast growing and has a fast turnaround in profit. It requires a lot of feed. doesn't say anything about fertilizing eggs. Uh, it does for the rooster. So somehow my chickens are getting fertile eggs without having a rooster in there. I don't know. Um, our pigs are doing pig things. I mean, and, and the food's not going down that much either. I know they said you got to feed them every two days. Well, it's been two days, so you think... You know, if anything, at least halfway. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even halfway here. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I got questions about the chickens. I get infertile eggs, not knowing how. Uh, and their feed trough also. I mean, they've only eat, ate 50 liters of food so far. But you can see the requirement is going up because the chickens are getting, uh, they're getting heavier. And uh, also we're getting some older ones because the, chicken cross were little chicks they were they weighed zero pounds now they weighed eight pounds so this pen re now requires 1214 liters for a season oh wait excuse me for a year not a season for a year 
yeah, so I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, I was going to check. Uh, no, that's the wrong page again. Uh, any, uh, yep, so the Yorkshire, this Yorkshire has a piglet incoming. Uh, this one does not. So you can see when we bought the Yorkshire, they weighed the same. Uh, I'm guessing this one probably weighs more because she's pregnant. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. Uh, these males are 390 pounds. They're young and 390 pounds already. So, uh, yep, we got another piglet inbound there. So they are reproducing. Just that some things are kind of clear and other things are, I look at and like, I'm not quite understanding. Uh, you said I got to feed them every two days. And I, same with the sheep. Oh, uh, no, that's the, uh, so, sorry, we're at pigs. <laughs> uh, yeah, same with the sheep. They didn't go down that much. Uh, you can see the, the water pump is keeping it right around 25 liters. Um, so that, that's fine. Uh, probably when I play seasons, I'll take a water tanker, make sure it's full all the time. Um, but yes, they got little lambs incoming. Now you're not going to see, it's like when a lamb is born, you're not going to see like a sheep, like one quarter of the size running around in here. Uh, from what I got told, they're all, they, they just look like all the same anyways. All the same. All right, so how are the cows doing? Man, I keep hitting the wrong buttons everywhere. Uh, the cows. We got any cows. Holstein, Holstein, not fertile. Doesn't say next animal in at all. Now you can see the horses. Uh, they gone through the straw and they gone through the hay in just about two days. The oats, not so much. But as for the cows, I don't have any fertile cows yet. Hmm, interesting. Ah, so that being said, uh, about the pigs, one more thing about the pigs. You can see we got 1,000 liters, 1,004 liters of slurry, no manure. That's because I haven't put no straw in there. Now, I've been told... If I can find my tractor, I'm going to go put straw in their trough or in their pen. And if you put straw in the pig's pen, they're not going to create any more slurry. It's going to be all manure. So let me go ahead and see if I can find <laughs> my tractor. And uh, I'll put some straw in their pen and we'll see if we get any more slurry. Where did I put that thing? So I put straw both in the pig pen and the cow pasture. I wrote down some totals. I'm speeding up time to see if I get any more slurry from the pigs and or the cows. Now, I was told that is true with the pigs. That if you put straw in there, you won't get you won't you won't get slurry and manure. You just get manure. So, yep, you can see I'm starting to get manure, and the slurry didn't go up at all. How about the cows? I think it's true with the cows as well. 66.15 on the cows. And 1,004 on the slurry with them as well. Well, we're now into the afternoon. And the pigs have not produced any more slurry. Still sitting at 1,004, up to 70 manure. And the cows have not produced any more slurry. They've only produced manure. So... If you just want to use slurry to spread in your fields, do not give your pigs or cows straw because you'll you'll get manure. So you only can get one or the other. You can't get both out of a pen. And it's all dependent on the straw. But man, I, I'm still more confused than ever on some things. Um, especially when it says you got to feed your animals every two days. But I think there might be a... I think so, I did read somewhere in a form that, that there might be a minimum amount of tr a trough, a minimum amount of food that a trough can take. So that could be a reason. I'm not sure. Uh, it just makes no sense. Um, how about my cows? Any of my cows? No, doesn't look like any of my cows are going to be producing milk at any time soon. Anytime soon. 
Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for the animals as far as I can go by. Um, just with the information I got, <laughs> I figured I'd go over that. But it seems like I'm more confused than when I started. Uh, yeah, if any of you are playing Seasons already, which I'm sure some of you are, um, I haven't got a chance to read the forums at all. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, fertile eggs without a rooster. I did get told that the pig information, when you buy them, uh, when you come in here to buy the pigs, that this information here is a little bit backwards. Uh, so you, the younger pig weighs more than the older pig, and the totals are also screwed up as well. Um, the cows I sort of get, but I thought uh, maybe because I bought the cows in summer, maybe I got to have the cows in springtime in order for them to get pregnant and have a calf in the fall. And then they'll start producing milk. So I may have to, uh, I may have screwed up there a little bit. But man, um, yeah, if you want milk on your farm, I mean, how much does milk actually go for? Uh, did they change that in seasons? It's hard for me to tell because I'm used to playing on a uh, hard economy and whatnot. Uh, they look like normal prices for normal economy because you got to wait a while to get milk on your farm. Especially, I mean, your first season, do you want to have cows on your farm? You're not going to have no food sitting around for them. As for the sheep, the sheep still seem to be the easiest ones to take care of right from the get-go because you can use uh, grass in their pasture. I mean, the cows will too, but I think the cows will go through more food than the sheep do. But uh, if you have any helpful hints or tips below for animals on seasons, uh, have anything to add that I didn't go over or explain things a little better than I did, which I'm sure you could because I'm not sure I explained anything well at this point. Uh, yeah, I didn't buy a rooster for the chickens for the point of, hey, I'll show you. You don't get fertile eggs. And uh, we got fertile eggs without a rooster. Um, the pigs are doing everything fine except for uh, the detail when you buy them. Uh, I'm a little confused on that, but I got told that's kind of a known issue. Uh, the sheep are doing everything normally. Uh, we got to see the grass go from the pasture into the food trough. Uh, I did show you the water pump. Now, the water pump is not a mod you have to download. If you download Seasons, then you have the water pump. That's part of that mod. So you don't have to worry about saying, well, where do you get the water pump? That's part of the Seasons mod. Um, the cows, quickly, uh, pretty much like I said, your cows, uh, the one that define to say they make milk, well, they can't make milk until they have a calf. Uh, I heard that it was supposed to take three seasons, um, but I'm not seeing anything yet saying my, cat, my cows are pregnant. Uh, as for the horses, yes, uh, the horses are free, and as long as you feed them, keep them clean, and, uh, oh, no, that's the, no, that's the right button. Um, is my horse helper, uh, those are the cows. Yeah, my horse helper must be on, because I think the tolls are going up. So, yeah, so you can see in two days, I'm out of straw, and I'm almost out of hay for the horses. But on a six-day seasons, that's what I'm running. I'm getting paid for eight horses, roughly about $2,500 a, a night. Um, and if I'm running horse helper, I'm probably paying more than that, <laughs> paying the horse helper, than I would than I'm getting paid by the horses themselves. I'm sure I am. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, you found some information helpful. Uh, like I said, I'm just a little bit more confused in some things than when I started. But that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I do appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you next time in Seasons on Fenton Forest by Stevie. But until then, have a good one.